Hey everyone, welcome back to Stone Sill Homestead. If you're new here, I'm Kim, and today we are making breakfast burritos. We are starting off with four pounds of my ground sausage, and we're going to get that fried up. And then we also have some things that we're watching in the oven. I will be showing you here very quickly my pizza dough that I'm proofing in the oven just with the light on, letting that raise, and then back to my sausage. We are going to fry this up and add some other ingredients to it so that I don't have to add a bunch of ingredients to the tortilla when I start wrapping them up. So as I brown this sausage, I am going to be adding some green pepper, some onions, some jalapenos, and we're going to season it up while it's in the pan. It just helps for um, ease when getting them together. And as you can see here, the sausage is nice and brown. I'm adding those diced green peppers now. And these are diced green peppers from my garden from the freezer. So there are some ice crystals on a couple things that you will see. I am, however, adding fresh onion here and getting that in the pan to cook those items down. Once I give them a nice good stir here, we'll continue to cook until everything is tender. And we're going to also add some jalapenos. Now, I don't have any fresh jalapenos, so I will be adding some cowboy candy to this. We have that in the fridge. And I'm going to dice up about a tablespoon, maybe, maybe two tablespoons of cowboy candy to mix that up to give our breakfast burrito some heat. We normally add salsa and sour cream at the end, but I decided to go ahead and add that cowboy candy now as it's a great add-in. We just love this stuff over cream cheese and we use it in many dishes on top of pizzas. We just, it's very versatile. We just really enjoy it. And as you can see here, I'm adding that cowboy candy right now and then I'm gonna give that a nice mix. Last week, I made English muffins, um, sausage, egg, and cheese English muffins. These are just freezer meals that are quick, and we don't have to think about it. We can just grab it. It can thaw for a little bit overnight in the refrigerator if you remember to pull them out. If you don't, you can always microwave them on the defrost for a little bit. Or use that pizza button if your microwave has a pizza button. We have learned that the pizza button on the microwave keeps that tortilla from getting hard. And here I am beginning to scramble 20 eggs. I was thinking about 18, but I don't like running short on eggs, so I did add um, a few more, and we had a total of 20 eggs here. And I'm just going to scramble them. I do season them with salt and pepper as I'm cooking them just to have everything um, nice for tasting. We all like seasonings. We like that flavor. Now here is something that not everybody does, but I do do it. I add my shredded cheese while I'm scrambling eggs. And the reason I do that is I like that cheesy egg flavor. So I'm adding shredded cheese from my freezer. And, oh, there's a chunk of ice. I got to pull that out there. And it just makes those scrambled eggs stick together and gives them that extra flavor. Now, when I wrap the burrito, I do end up adding more cheese to the burrito to um, melt it all together when I'm reheating them. And we like that a lot. It, it's just a cheese thing. We just love cheese. Who am I kidding? We just love cheese. So we add a lot to it. It looks like um, I end up adding about six cups of cheese total for all 16 burritos. I do end up with a little bit of cheese left 
Here are those scrambled eggs that are completely done now and we are ready to start assembling those burritos. I, I'll put about a, a half a cup, it's not quite a half a cup, scoop that I use into each tortilla as well as a scoop of sausage and then some cheese. And then we wrap them in saran wrap and we place them in a bag and back in the freezer. And like I said, everybody loves that grab and go meal. And so that's what we're aiming for here today. We are getting ready for the pantry challenge. So that also helps with um, meal prep. Here I'm grabbing those 10 inch tortillas, burrito tortillas, and I'm placing, like I said, about a half a cup of scrambled eggs and about the equal amounts of sausage in there. I have this little strainer that I use because I know that's about equal measurement to the other scoop I use for the eggs and adding some shredded cheese here and then wrapping that burrito. Now, when you wrap the burrito, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can fold the bottom, fold the sides, and then roll it, and then tuck the ends in like an envelope. And that is a great way to keep that shut. Wrap it in saran wrap, and you're good. The other way you can do is, I found a trick, excuse me, I found a trick that when you place your filling in that tortilla, you fold up the bottom, and then I take, it's my Tupperware bench scraper, and I scrape all those fillings in so it's nice and tight. Then I fold in the edges and continue to roll it. And that makes that nice burrito, and then I put it in a pan until I'm done completely rolling those burritos. And I'm just going to continue to make each burrito, putting eggs in, the sausage, the cheese, and wrapping it. And as you can see here, I fold in the bottom of the burrito first, and I pull it back. Fold in the edges, begin rolling, tucking it nicely, and then here you see at the end, I just roll it up till it's nice and tight, and I lay that on the pan. And these burritos are so delicious. They're so full. I know people go to fast food places and buy them, but one, you don't have any idea how it was made, what's in it, who has touched it. At least when you do it at home, you know your process, you know what your kitchen is, you know what's in the product. So I'm gonna continue to fold these and I will be back when I am all done with them. And now I've got another full tortilla here and I wanted to show you how I use that bench scraper. I'm going to fold in that bottom and I'm going to scrape with that Tupperware bench scraper. Fold up that bottom and then I'm going to grab the edges just like I did all the rest. Fold in the sides and then roll it, making sure that remains tight. It's just a way to clean up that tortilla before you roll so you don't have things pushing out the end when you're closing it up. And there it's all done. And I'll add that to the pan and do the next one. And now we're just going to wrap each one in plastic wrap. Take the burrito, wrap it, tuck the ends over, and 
there it is, ready to go. What's nice is I take the bag that the tortillas came in and I'm going to lay each one of these in the bag. So I, one, I don't have to use a, another container of anything. I'm gonna lay those in. This has the Ziploc edge on it for the tortillas and I will put these in the refrigerator or in the freezer and then my husband can just grab as he goes, which makes it very nice and very convenient. I love this plastic wrap that has this cutter on it. It's more for the kitchen size and not the restaurant size. And I can just tuck these in. It's perfect size for me um, that I can lift and maneuver in my kitchen. I don't need a bunch of storage space. There you go, there's another burrito. And there I am done wrapping. We've got tortillas that are getting ready to go in the freezer. I'm, re I'm putting them back in the bag to reuse the bag. And here we go. Look at them burritos. Aren't those gorgeous looking? My husband will really enjoy those. And that made 16 burritos. I used a 16 pack of flour tortillas for him. I used four pounds of ground sausage from the freezer. I also used 20 eggs and two one pound packages of shredded cheese, I think. No, I did not. I used four cups of shredded Mexican cheese. I used three diced onions that I diced very finely and two cups of green pepper and one tablespoon of cowboy candy to make these breakfast burritos. So thanks again for joining me. We appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and to the ones that continue to find value in our content. Give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. Ring that bell if you wanna be notified every time that I um, post a video. As we get ready for this Christmas season, we're coming into Christmas Day. It is now Saturday and we'll be spending time with family. And I want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as always, be blessed and laugh as much as you breathe. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.